Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today we have another TFSI on the channel in the form of this S38P. In fact, this looks very, very similar to the last S38P, which I filmed and featured on the channel, white with the Team Dynamics. This one, however, is running a little bit more power, 455 brake horsepower, which if you know these things, that is a lot of power. Of course, running stage three hybrid turbo. So it's gonna be quite an event as well. And as you can see from some of the battle scars, it's driven properly, it's daily driven, which is what we like to see. Um, but yeah, in usual fashion, we'll introduce you to the owner. We'll have a walk around it for going out, having some fun in this 455 brake S38P. So we're now joined with the owner, Dan. Mate, it's a pleasure to have the car on the channel. Um, running some serious power, actually. 455 brake is uh, definitely nothing to be laughed at. Um, stage three, I believe? Yeah, that's correct. And of course, through a nice big hybrid turbo, I believe, as well. Um, so let's have a little look around the car because I suppose we were chatting off camera. There's not loads that you have to do to these to get it to this kind of power, but still some very important bits. Um, yeah. So if it's all right, kind of give us a, a bit of a run through. Right, so there's not a massive amount you need to do. I've just gone for a TTE 480 Plus Turbo. Um, as you can see, Ram Air intake. It's got a Miltec turbo back exhaust with a sports cat. I've got the Autotech high pressure fuel pump. There's also another fuel pump in the tank. There's a little RS fuel, fuel regulator valve in there. And I believe that is it. Oh, other than the oh, yeah. GFB upgraded dump valve. That's, That's about it. it. It's got a, a map, gearbox yeah. map. It's got a drivetrain map. Um, and yeah, that's about it, really. That's about it. Of course, so running not, DSG as well. Yeah, DSG's nice. Yeah. And it's daily driven, I think. It I, is daily driven. Yeah. <laughs> judging by the, <laughs> the, the front bumper. <laughs> yes, it's got a fair few war wounds. Well, fair few, but it's cool. What is it? It's kind of like an RS3 style? Bumper. Yeah, it is an RS3 yeah. rep. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool actually, a bit more aggressive than what the standard one would be. Yeah, definitely. Um, so performance wise, that's what we're looking at. Do you know the torque of the uh, I believe head? it's 462 foot pounds. Okay, yeah, decent, <laughs> decent. And then moving around, we have some team dynamics like we mentioned in the intro, but behind those, we have, well, quite a, a large set of stoppers. <laughs> yeah, they are the eight pot calipers from the TTRS and the RS3 8V. Vagbrem Technic discs and they are Frodo DS2500 pads. Yeah, decent, decent. And you had to put some spacers on just because. Yes, we have a three mil spacer. <laughs> yeah, to just fit a over tiny the spacer. They are huge, absolutely huge. What are we running on uh, lowering springs wise? Uh, j just 20 mil lowering springs. Yeah. I can't yeah. actually remember the make. Okay, yeah. Oh, it sits all right, doesn't it? Not too bad at all. Yeah, it does sit fairly nice. And like we mentioned, DSG as well. Have a little look inside. Do you know, I really do like these. I think they're kind of making a bit of a comeback, really. It's kind of got to that kind of era where, I don't know, it's almost modern classic kind of feel. It's all very retro yeah, yeah. in here. I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, it's, it's a cool car, isn't it? I mean, I've featured a couple of them on the channel now. Um, this will be the most powerful. You will be pleased to know. <laughs> um, Some sort of bragging rights. Yeah, there you go, there you go. But you've had it quite a while, I understand, as well, right? Yeah, coming up for four years in June. Four I've years. Had it. You bought it stock? Yeah, bought it stock. Bought it stock. Uh, had all the work done mm. in May 2019. Oh, literally everything? And then just run well, it, it was already. I already went to stage two plus, if you yeah. like, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. then I actually had a small accident where one of the piston rings blew out on me. Ah. So that's why I had it forged. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's fully forged as well? Yes, yeah, fully forged. Nice. It's got... Um, Wasna pistons, pick yep. rods, and all the valve trains been done. Crikey. So, yeah, sorry, yeah. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, quite a, quite a large thing to forget, actually. <laughs> no, it's been a bit of a journey then, isn't it? Yeah. Big it old has. journey. Yeah. Oh, fair play, fair play. Awesome thing. But I think that's pretty much it, really, in terms of, well, kind of styling wise, nothing much has really been done. Uh, obviously, new exhaust, like we plates, mentioned. The black yeah. badges, tinted the windows. Nice little touches, really. Painted the diffuser. Oh yeah, I think the last one actually, I think Chris's one had the same. Yeah, that makes a big difference, but uh, um, about it. I think so. Yeah, it's always funny yeah. kind of <laughs> getting people to, to show me around their car, they kind of forget everything they've done to it. That's the but, thing, uh, sometimes I forget what I've done. Well, especially because you've had it for quite a while, it's yeah. probably, yeah, you've got to think back really. But anyway, I think as the rain is starting to come down, I think we should hop in, go for a quick drive. Yeah, let's go for let's it. Let's do it.
<laughs> Those shifts are rapid. Absolutely yeah. rapid. I mean, the car's pretty rapid as well, to be fair. <laughs> I'm quite thankful it's had a gearbox, man. Yeah. I mean, not as exciting. I had it on my stage one GTI. Made a massive difference. Yeah. So I can kind of slightly relate. <laughs> um, now, <laughs> weather has turned for the worst, so I think this is going to be a little bit sketchy, but still, we'll have some fun nonetheless. Um, one thing we definitely need to mention, intercooler. <laughs> yeah, it, it does have one. It's it a Wagner intercooler. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what it's rated for. I think the tuning guy said it was about six, maybe seven. Yeah. But yes, it does have an intercooler. Just before everyone comments, because you completely forgot to mention it. Oh, you can almost guarantee someone's going to say something, yeah. <laughs> oh, to be fair, most of the videos I film with people in their cars, always some, something is always going to be forgotten, so don't worry about that. Um, it's an epic car, though. I mean, that pull back there in that tunnel, it's quick. Very, very quick. I thought I would want... Obviously, I do want more power, yeah. but it's not where I'm getting bored of what i got. I need more. Mm. I'm happy where it is. So did you go from stock to stage two plus? I went from stock straight to stage two plus. So yeah, yeah, yeah but I didn't have a dyno, so it was, okay. I don't know, 360, 370, mm. somewhere around there. And then I got to that point and was like, yeah, maybe I need a little bit more. Yeah. And then you went, so you had stage three when the uh, when the engine went, did you, was that on stage Yeah, so, so when the piston ring went and the, uh, and it was misfiring, yeah. I was sort of, do I go back stock, do I forge it, and thought while they have the engine apart, yeah, I I'll forge it so that I don't have to then go back, pay twice for the labour, but, but also I know it's going to be a bit more safer with running the extra power. Yeah, and it's peace of mind really as well, yeah. isn't it? And then I got them to sort of tweak the mapping a little bit, and it, it was dying at 426, yeah. and then it came out at 455. Nice. So yeah, got another 30-odd horsepower out of it, so can't complain. I mean, th like I said earlier on the video, that is some serious power from one of these. To put it on a level, it's sort of, if you're having a pull with an M4, mm. it's about neck and neck. A stock M4? It. Yeah, obviously, if, if I get the jump, I'm going first. If he gets the jump, he's going first, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You, can, like, you get the gist. Have you had anyone try and race the cars you're uh, videoing when you're out? Good question. Um, I don't know. I think there's always someone yeah, that's up for it. Isn't there? There's always someone in some. Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've had some some funny moments. I think whilst filming, most of which does get cut out of the videos. But oh, that's a shame. <laughs> it's cool though to experience lots of different cars and actually. That's a good point worth making, is experiencing lots of different, of the same cars, but in different kind of cycles of their modification yeah, yeah, journey. Yeah. Go through the journey. Yeah, exactly. Nice little clear bit. <laughs> Those shifts are like snaps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how much quicker they are from that as they were to stock. Yeah. It's definitely noticeable, and obviously with the bangs as well. Mm. Collecting a few more chips. <laughs> Not that I need any more stone <laughs> chips, but yeah, I'll, I'll take them. <laughs> oh, what was we saying? There's always someone up for it. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my God. See what I mean? There's always some moments which yeah. <laughs> normally get cut out. <laughs> So like we were saying earlier on, it's it's been quite a journey for you really. You've had the car for years, really. Bought it, stock and built it up. Is there anything you kind of want to do before, well, I wouldn't say finishing the project because the project is never finished. No, <laughs> it'll always be ongoing. <laughs> yeah. um, I think obvious, obvious looks wise is it needs a little bit of TLC. <laughs> um, I will do that, but mm. I'd rather get house first. Yeah. And then I can chuck this in a garage somewhere, forget about it, have another car, mm. and then just, yeah, sort of leave it, do it over the course of six months, do a couple of other bits as well, 
Fuck, maybe get some different seats. Because when these are cleaned, if you brake too hard, you do slide off. They are quite slippy, aren't they? Yeah, they're very slippery seats. <laughs> um, so yeah, seats, maybe harnesses. Yeah. Um, Power-wise? De definitely power, yeah. I, I would like a bigger turbo. I'd also need a manifold of it. Got a pickup. Uh, a set of injectors. And I think a little bit of fabrication for all the oil lines for the turbo. Okay, yeah. But that's about it. And that'll be ridiculous. Probably pushing on 500 then. I'd like to think a little bit more. They've yeah. The garage where I go, uh, the firm in Camberley, they've got, I've got another guy. His car's always in there. Not because it's broke, but he's always having work done. Mm. And I think his one just made about 650 at the wheels. Really? He's got a mental setup. One of these? Yeah, one of these. It's, um, Jesus. I don't know what blue it is, but it's, it's like the nice blue, like an Arden blue. Yeah. Um, yeah, that made about at, 650 at the wheels. At the wheels? Uh, but before that, it was 614. Yeah. And you could, you could barely tell it had been modified. Oh, it just looked like yeah. really OEM. Obviously, aesthetically, it was, a, it was a bit nicer looking yeah. than the average one. Other than that, yeah, you could barely tell. But yeah, 614 that was. <laughs> it hooks up, oh my God. <laughs> See, they're all right, but there's... Slipping there, out. There's the little wobble. Right, they stopped, are they? Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. I nearly went through the windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> Another mate of mine has, has said, I did a little... A, a brake test, if you like. Yeah. And he was, he was saying, you see bits of tarmac of the road that you shouldn't see. There's <laughs> 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 not much lag at all, is there? That was one of the things I did ask for when yeah. getting it done. They said, you can either go big turbo, yeah. so that you don't have to then go again in the future or we can go hybrid and I said guys you know how I drive <laughs> I've got mates we like to have a bit of fun what's going to be better for me and yeah. they said we'll do a hybrid you can probably give it a bit more stick more like not track ready I'm not a track driver but yeah. if you want to follow your mates around town for 15 20 minutes like on and off yeah. this one will be all right so I said yeah go, yeah, for, it. go for it last thing I want is give it too much stick if you like yeah and then it go pop. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, buddy, as we are now approaching town again, some less fun roads, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up there, but okay, okay. it's quite hard to portray speeding videos. Oh, it's very hard, yeah. Yeah. Proper, proper bit of kit. And uh, yeah, we've seen some quite nice cars actually around as well today. Seems, yeah, uh, some fairly nice mode. Well. Unusual weather is not putting people off. But anyway, as usual, I will put your Instagram link down in the description down below for you guys to go and check out. Yep. For me Walk today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe, <laughs> dodging the potholes <laughs> for all the adventures yeah. still to come.